One challenge that mechanical engineers often face is managing the large volumes of data generated over the course of the engineering process. This data is created as designers work through the various disciplines of mechanical, electrical, and automation engineering. One question that many customers ask is how these data can best be intelligently and usefully organized and linked. Let's take a closer look at this problem, examining what often has to be dealt with in actual practice. In the engineering process, mechanical engineers generate various data in many different versions, including mechanical computer-aided design data, or MCAD data for short, electrical CAD data, and of course, data for the automation project. This data is then saved on a wide range of data storage devices, like local computer hard drives, in clouds, or on network drives. And you can already imagine the resulting problems. Let's now put ourselves in the position of the automation engineer and ask ourselves the questions they typically face. What kind of questions will those be? Where is the engineering data for my machine? What's the current project status of this machine? What release approval status does the project have on the TIA portal? And what global TIA portal libraries are being used in this TIA portal project version? At Siemens, we offer an optimal solution to these questions. What does this solution look like? Yeah. Yes, it looks like this. We integrate automation engineering into the product lifecycle management process, or PLM for short, supported by Team Center. As done in the past with MCAD and ECAD data, the automation project can now be called up in the TIA portal and saved to the PLM platform Team Center and reopened there. The TIA portal Team Center gateway has a graphical user interface for this purpose that enables users to handle automation data in the PLM environment quickly and easily. But let's look now at this whole process in actual practice. I've already opened the TIA portal. Here, we see the TIA portal instance where no project has been opened. The integration of Team Center can be recognized by the Team Center symbol in the lower right hand corner. And we see that no connection to Team Center has been established. The first thing we want to do as the automation engineer is connect to the Team Center server. To do this, we enter our username and password for the Team Center server. The connection has now been successfully established. The symbol is now displayed in color, and the connected Team Center server is displayed. To open a project from Team Center, you'll find under Project the additional menu item Open Team Center Project. Here, we can first search for project names from among the TIA portal projects, or for Team Center information, the unique item ID, item name, or the revision number. We're searching for the project for our Digi Demo machine. The display now shows us all the projects filed in Team Center under the name of Digi Demo Machine. Under their individual attributes, we can see who created the project, what type of project it is, and what access rights we as the user possess. In the link information, we can see that currently no information is available on this project. By selecting the revision status, we can check the project out of Team Center and open it in the TIA portal. Once our project is opened in the TIA portal, we can begin as usual in the TIA portal with steps to develop our program modules, generate our HMI images, and set up PCs and switches. Not only projects, but also libraries can be managed via Team Center. This also allows global libraries to be opened from Team Center via a menu item. From the TIA portal, we can search Team Center for the library name, or also via the dedicated unique Team Center information like the ID, name, and revision number. We are now searching through Team Center for all libraries saved in the database. This search produces four different libraries. We'd like to use the machine library 000026. Aus dieser Bibliothek 
From the library, we will now use a module for data shifting. As usual, in the TIA portal, this module can be pulled into the existing project using drag and drop. The function block is now available in our TIA portal project, and we've executed the engineering step of the new module. We now want to save the changes in our project. To do this, we can call up Team Center by right-clicking the mouse on the TIA Portal project. We save the project in Team Center under its current revision status, create a new revision of the project, create a completely new item in Team Center, or we can also use the check in and or check out functions or even cancel our checkout. In our case, we want to create a new revision of the project. So to do this, we select the menu item, Save as New Revision. For the DigiDemo machine, there now exists Revision Status B containing our new function block from the library. This new revision can be linked in Team Center to events that will then start workflows. This enables approval for release processes and review processes to work through the various people involved. When we've closed the project and want to reopen the new revision, we can search again for the Digidemo machine and now see our new revision status B. If we now display the link information here, we see that our machine library was used in revision A of the project. This allows us to obtain a direct connection between the project version and the library version. When we reopen the project, our module is still there to be seen in the TIA portal project. After checking in via the Team Center dialog, the TIA Portal project is re-released for other users, and the automation engineers can then work through the review processes for release approval. As we've just seen, project administration and revisioning are performed directly from the TIA portal by means of an integrated user interface. This allows the seamless use of the PLM functionalities from the TIA portal, offering customers any number of advantages. Such as a more efficient workflow, fewer errors in the engineering process, and simplified service. You can benefit from these advantages by way of the TIA portal Team Center Gateway. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.